record just briefly. I said, I won't have that many questions because I, I, I don't know that much about uh, the role, but uh, it's good to find out and I'll pass on to her that um, most of the reviewers are uh, IB teachers. That's interesting. Yes, this is, this is actually the first query of this kind that I've received in my years with the IB. If anything, it's the other way around. I'm not an IB teacher. Can I be an IB examiner? Uh, this is the oh. first time I've I received it the other way around. I am an IB teacher. Oh. Can I be an IB examiner? Or I am an IB examiner. Can I be an IB teacher? So okay. it, it's, it's quite interesting. What was the concern there? Uh, you mentioned that as a whole, maybe it's not a good idea to... Oh, um, just the, because of the the minute potential that there would be you know some favoritism or, or, or whatever right that there is a since there is a minute potential uh it's just it's not touched as so that's what i meant by the overall uh in with with ib assessment in collaboration with my my team ert uh, we are very very careful with that mm -hmm. uh conflicts of interest is something yeah, that we're we, we we take very seriously. Uh, in fact, if I may give you an example, sure. there's policy within the Global Center in Cardiff where all the assessment things are going on uh -huh. that if you have a kid, if, I, if IB staff has a child in one of the IB programs, they cannot be in the building during the session at all. So they'll have to work remotely. Oh, uh, I so see, we, I see. we take all of this seriously. Uh, it's I, I've never heard of a case where an IB examiner, by sheer coincidence, realized that the, the the student that they're marking at that time is, you know, a student that they may have known indirectly, either in the past or or through another colleague in another school. Uh, you don't even know who you're marking, to be honest. Okay. Uh, yeah. All you see is very long series of numbers. Uh, 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 uh. So, I. I can't imagine how they will be able to exercise some favoritism there uh, unless they there is some <laughs> conspiracy theory, massive uh, network of examiners collaborating so oh. that there is. <laughs> so, conspiracy uh, theories are going around <laughs> these days. It's true. Um, it's but true. yeah, so. Good. But yeah, Catherine, if they. You know, is there any other questions you may have? Or? Well, no, but I could tell you what we're working on. Uh, um, uh, Mariella is one of two on the teaching team or the on the education team, and uh, we present international films as learning tools on Screen 360 oh, okay. TV, and we think that the international baccalaureate community would really benefit and appreciate. Uh, Screen 360 TV um, because of its, of course, international purview. And okay. um, yeah, we just had a great conversation earlier today with a teacher from Poland who is just beginning to use IB in their schools in Poland. That's exciting. You have another okay. person coming on or is that me? Uh, I think it, it's it's another uh, attendee, uh, Krishna. That's yeah. great. That's great. That. Hello, Krishna. That's Good. great. But yeah, Hello. let's let's continue. Oh, okay. No, no, you continue, sir. Uh, we are not IB school, uh, but you know, uh, we want to go to IB in couple of years. So for the past two years, I have been attending uh, conferences from Hong Kong. Oh, uh, you were in so, Hong Kong. To yeah, you. I was in Hong Kong. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, we missed on Bangkok uh, this year uh, because of uh, pandemic. Yes. Uh, so. So whenever a round table comes, you know, I attend and then just hear you people converse and all those technical <laughs> terms and technology and everything, I just grasp them. That's uh, okay. All right. That's great. That's great. Well, Sorry, Catherine, what were you yeah, saying? Sure. Screen 360 TV is was my, my master's thesis project at Stanford, but it's also the um, the evolution of a long uh, uh, career of, of making, making uh, bringing international films to young audiences and so that they do have an international purview. And um, so incorporating it into the IB curriculum uh, is what we're hoping to find a way to do um, and why we're, we're here at IB to, to meet minds, meet like minds. 
And uh, as you know, as an IB reviewer and, and instructor, it's surprising how many people in the world do not think internationally, do not think about uh, raising their children internationally. Or, mm -hmm. Go ahead. Well, you know, if I can, if I can add to that, uh, the, the project that I'm focusing on right now is the Japan project. Yeah. Uh, have you been to Japan before? Uh, I have not. I have not. Okay. The, the furthest east I've, I've been is, is Beijing. China. Okay. Uh, well, you know, the, the education system or the traditional education system here in Japan is, is very prototypically East Asian. You know, there's a lot of uh, rote memorization, a lot uh -huh. of repetition, uh -huh. like bulk uh, approach to learning. Uh, so five years ago is when I joined the IB. Uh, basically, they they invited me to, to into this role uh, through through a headhunting company. Uh, and I was very excited and I was very surprised that the Japanese government was the one that approached it, approached the IB saying oh, we would like okay. to incorporate IB, the, the IBA education along with our Japanese education system. So you know exactly what you're saying is is what the Japanese project's all about, and we actually just started the Korean project as well. Very good. Uh, so something very similar, uh, very very soon. Uh, it's starting right now, actually. Uh, it's oh, just that the excellent. first assessment won't be until 2023. Obviously, it takes two years for the DP, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it's 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 starting right this very moment. Uh, as it's at its infancy, obviously, uh, but yeah, and I and you know I hear that there are potential projects as well, not just in Asia but all around the world, uh, maybe Europe, Middle East, that kind of thing. So yeah, that's, uh, that's exciting. I'm going to write my email here in. The oh yes, please chat. In, in the chat. Yes, great. And and please also connect. I'll also um, at Screen Three Sixty TV. There it is. Great. And and there is uh, quite a lot of information about Screen Three Hundred and Sixty TV in the my IB profile. Okay. And, and I'm also happy to send you information because I would like to connect with those people who want to connect with um, connect their peers and learn peer to peer internationally. And uh, this is uh, we find from. Uh, my background is, as I say, is in presenting film festivals and attending film festivals internationally. And the most, um, the strongest learning happens after the film, certainly during the films, but after the films when the audience speaks with one another about the film and speaks with the filmmaker about the film. And this is, these are momentous learning events that create vivid memories that continue to contribute to the life built upon those cornerstone memories. That was my, re my research. And uh, so uh, Screen 360 TV is there and available. We've got a team, we're growing and um, want to be of service in Japan. No, great. No, yeah. I, I, you know, once I'm, I'm, I'm perhaps uh, done Ask, you know, answering any questions I may have in this uh, roundtable here, I will definitely check out your bio and any any links you may have there. Uh, okay. it, it sounds very, very interesting, and I'll definitely be in touch. Okay, Van. Thanks very much. I'll leave you to it then. All right, Catherine. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you for your time. Bye.